The Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, were American aviation pioneers whose groundbreaking achievements led to the first successful controlled, powered flight. Wilbur was born in 1867 in Millville, Indiana, while Orville followed in 1871 in Dayton, Ohio. They were raised in a stimulating intellectual environment by their father, Milton Wright, a bishop in the United Brethren Church, and their mother, Susan Kerner Wright, who had a talent for mechanics. Their early fascination with flight began when their father gave them a small flying toy, a rubber band powered helicopter designed by French aviation experimenter Alphonse Pinard. This childhood curiosity persisted into adulthood, guiding them toward a systematic approach to solving the challenges of human flight. Unlike many of their contemporaries, they did not receive formal engineering education but were self-taught, drawing on their experience as owners of a bicycle repair and manufacturing business in Dayton. Their work with bicycles honed their mechanical skills and deepened their understanding of balance and control, an understanding they would later apply to aviation. Their interest in aeronautics deepened after reading about the work of German glider pioneer Otto Lilienthal, who had died in a gliding accident in 1896. Recognizing the importance of stability and control rather than simply achieving lift, they embarked on an extensive study of aerodynamics, testing different wing shapes and structures. They conducted wind tunnel experiments, refining their designs with remarkable precision, and developed a unique method of controlling an aircraft through a three-axis control system, roll, pitch, and yaw, which is still the foundation of modern flight. Between 1900 and 1902, they built and tested several gliders at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, chosen for its steady winds, soft sand for landings, and isolation from public scrutiny. Their early gliders faced difficulties with lift and control, leading them to question widely accepted aerodynamic data. Frustrated with existing calculations, they built their own wind tunnel and tested hundreds of different wing shapes, eventually correcting fundamental errors in previous aeronautical research. By 1902, their final glider was capable of sustained and controlled flights, proving their theories correct and setting the stage for powered flight. Armed with this newfound understanding, the Wright brothers turned to the challenge of propulsion. They designed and built their own lightweight engine with the help of their mechanic, Charlie Taylor, as no existing engine met their specific needs. In addition to the engine, they developed a set of twin propellers based on aerodynamically efficient principles, another groundbreaking achievement in aviation history. By 1903, they had constructed the Wright Flyer, a biplane with a wingspan of 40 feet, weighing approximately 605 pounds without a pilot. On December 17, 1903, at Kill Devil Hills near Kitty Hawk, Orville made the first controlled, sustained flight of a powered aircraft, covering 120 feet in 12 seconds. Over the course of the day, they conducted three more flights, with Wilbur achieving the longest at 852 feet in 59 seconds. These flights, though short by modern standards, represented the birth of powered aviation. Despite their success, their achievement was met with skepticism by the press and the public, with many refusing to believe that human flight had been achieved. Undeterred, the brothers continued refining their aircraft and, in 1905, built the Wright Flyer III, which was capable of fully controlled, sustained flight, marking the true beginning of practical aviation. As their aircraft's capabilities improved, they began demonstrating their flights to government officials and the military. By 1908, Wilbur traveled to France, where he stunned European audiences with precise, controlled flights, silencing critics and establishing the rights as the true pioneers of aviation. Meanwhile, Orville conducted demonstration flights for the U.S. Army, securing a military contract. Their achievements led to widespread recognition, and by 1909, they were celebrated as the inventors of the airplane. They established the Wright Company to manufacture aircraft and train pilots, but their later years were marked by extensive legal battles over patent rights, as rivals sought to capitalize on their innovations. Wilbur, often the driving force in business and legal matters, died of typhoid fever in 1912 at the age of 45, leaving Orville to manage their legacy. Orville eventually sold the company in 1915 and largely withdrew from the aviation industry, though he remained involved in aeronautical advancements. He lived to see the rapid progress of aviation, 
witnessing the dawn of jet-powered flight before passing away in 1948. The Wright brothers' relentless pursuit of controlled flight revolutionized transportation and warfare, laying the foundation for the modern aerospace industry. Their methodical approach, scientific rigor, and mechanical ingenuity ensured that their contributions were not just a fleeting success but a transformative breakthrough that changed the course of human history.